My name is Daniel Degu. Uh, been in the fertilizer industry for so probably 22 years. I was previously working with a trading company uh, that was involved in importations, uh, blending, uh, and distribution of fertilizers. Uh, that's in Kenya, in, to Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, uh, and a bit in Tanzania. Uh, then about four years ago, I went into my private business, but still in the same line, trading in fertilizers, which is uh, Kibira Trading. I got involved with VIFA because of my previous expertise in both the trading as well as logistics of fertilizer in the East African region as a private sector participant. We were introduced to the format that uh, VIFA was to, to capture the information and present it in a very user-friendly manner to, to make it more suitable, especially for private sector. Uh, we had different people from uh, policy makers, the Ministry of Agriculture and other um, government bodies whose interest was a bit different. As far as the private sector, we were introduced to what the templates that they had and we worked to improve them to make them very user and relevant to the uh, private sector. The dashboard does represent what uh, our input was. It, it is going to be a very useful tool for us going forward in the private sector. Most of the information is, uh, is what you glean from the press. It's not very accurate, and it's also not very timely. It's not aggregated in one, say, pullout, where you'd say every week on Tuesdays, there's a special pullout that deals with agriculture issues. A lot of policy shifts are probably done uh, as a by the way when government uh, minister is discussing something else like food security then somewhere in between there will be one paragraph on oh yeah uh, we will do the following on a fertilizer in future unless you are very sensitive and very keen to follow every pronouncement coming out from the government you will miss a lot of these things uh, the main thing as a private uh, business um, main interest in uh, the information displays is to get as accurate as possible information on international prices that is the FOB pricing capture any changes or the trends in the international global markets uh, because all the fertilizer being used in Kenya has an important component so it is very important for business people to anticipate where the global uh, trends for fertilizer are moving to make a decision on when uh, to do your procurements and do importations. It also has uh, some very important updated information on the price trends in the local market. That guides our marketing decisions. For example, we notice that prices are probably up, moving up normally up in a particular section or part of the country. It would suggest that there could be logistics uh, supply side constraints, which reflects that there, there's an inefficiency in the system, which as a business person, you'd be very interested to go and try and explore why is there such a huge price differential. It informs a lot of our decisions, both for importation as well as our marketing. We want to have one source of factual information so that any information even being posted, the people in the industry can really um, can go through that information and correct if there are any errors in what's being put. Otherwise, what we get in a normal general press tends to contain a lot of errors and there's no opportunity for the private sector to give feedback on that information. But a dashboard like this would allow us to give feedback about maybe even the published figures, import figures may be quoted by somebody which may not be accurate. So we have an opportunity on such a dashboard to correct it. A dashboard like this that involves uh, both private sector and the government uh, forms a very interactive forum where we can have instant feedback uh, from government if we have queries or if there's any price movements in the international market. If they are published on a dashboard which the ministry also trusts and believes in, they'll be making their decisions based on 
factual evidence. So this is a forum that we hope will enable private sector and government policymakers to be able to share information. With the dashboard, you have cost build-ups that are very easy to interpret. And so anybody in the value chain can actually just highlight and drill down into the information and to see what component is FOB, what component is the clearing charges, what component is the transport cost before they make any judgments about why the selling price of a particular product is as it is. As a private sector, it would be good to have the information out to show that the, the price fluctuations are not due to supply constraints, but is rather due to international pricing. So having historical data on the dashboard, as well as showing the historical import figures and a correlation where you have those graphs that show the correlation between uh, local pricing and international pricing, that would be one of the biggest benefit to the industry 